Yeah. Back right. to you. Walk, walk around. Okay. Just walk by. Look at that one. Hey, you see. Look at that. Hey, hey. lots of people. Look at that. So, really? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, give him a look. Come to the left. There he is, look at that. All right, that is my lovely and fantastic audience. Let it be known I had to feed them to have them come over. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about something everyone loves, their paycheck. So everyone likes to get paid. However, no one really knows what happens in the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, what happens in between the gross, which is what you make, and the net, which is what you bring home. But I think everyone's got that down, so we're going to cover the in-between part. Um, and hopefully, maybe we'll even save you a little money along the way. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about here, which is from the IRS uh, Publication 15 Circular E, is a federal withholding percentage method um, to calculate your taxes. So this is used to calculate your taxes on a per pay period. So if you wanted to use, for example, if you wanted to use a single person um, for a weekly payroll, you would use this chart. Um, so if I made, we'll say $1,000, I would pay $97.75 plus $1,000 above $753 times 20%. So this is used to calculate your paycheck weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, monthly um, to calculate any federal taxes withholding. They also have a wage and bracket chart as well which is a little more simplistic, where basically it would say, hey, you make between 100 and 110, how many allowances do you have, and then how much tax do you pay? So you can see you don't even start paying taxes until 125, between 120 and 125, you would start to pay $1 in taxes. So those are the two methods that you can use to pay uh, federal withholding taxes. Um, the other two uh, part of taxes that usually people don't know what they mean or why they're there is your FICA taxes. And you're like, what's a FICA tax? It's Federal Insurance Contribution Act, and it consists of two things. You have your Social Security tax, which is 6.2%, and you have your FICO, which is 1.45%. Um, your Social Security tax, 6.2%, it actually caps off at $117,000. So if you do make $117,000, that automatically turns off. Now with the FICA tax for Medicaid, Medicare Medicaid, um, once you get to $200,000, it actually goes from 1.45% to 2.35%. So it actually increases the more if you make over $200,000. Um, and obviously those are in place to take care of your Social Security and take care of your Medicare. Um, now not only do you pay that, but your employer also pays that as well. So a lot of people don't realize, they're like, hey, I'm being taxed for this. Your employer is also being taxed for the exact same things as well. So it actually costs the employer a lot of money on top of the salary to pay for an employee. Um, another thing we're going to talk about is um, is the actual uh, federal withholding. So let's say you wanted to look at it from a yearly standpoint. Okay, so what are my tax brackets from a yearly standpoint? Um, so you got 10%, 15%, 25%, 28%, and so on. Um, so this is actually, if you were looking at your taxes from a yearly standpoint, you're saying, how much taxes am I going to pay throughout the entire year? This is kind of what's used when you're actually filing your taxes. So if you make between $73,000 and $148,000 per year, you're going to pay 25% in taxes. So now why the percentage method and the wager bracket are used for a per pay period, this is what's going to be used when you're actually filing your taxes. And um, this can be found, um, this was found at bankrate.com um, underneath their income tax section. So a couple other taxes that employers pay, they pay State unemployment, uh, state unemployment insurance, and they pay federal unemployment insurance, also known as SUDA and FUDA. Um, and this chart here, um, which was from the American Payroll Organization, this has um, some of the states listed with their wage bases. So in the state of Florida, any new employer is going to pay 2.7%, and they're going to pay for a wage base up to $8,000. So for the first $8,000 an employee pays you, um, they're going to pay a designated rate based on their unemployment insurance modification experience rating, um, which is normally 2.7% for a new employer. So just an example, if you were hired as an employee, they're going to pay $216 for you um, for state unemployment insurance every year. And then they also have the FUDA, which is the um, federal unemployment tax rate, and they're going to pay 6% um, up to a $7,000 wage base, which is $420 a year. 
So every year they're going to pay your food insurance, they're going to pay your student insurance, they're going to pay your FICA, um, Social Security, and they're going to pay your FICA Medicare. So there's a lot of taxes um, that employers pay that employees don't really usually realize um, they're paying on their behalf. Um, so what other things happen in between the gross and the net? Um, there are such things like 401k, HSAs, DSAs, FSAs. Um, so 401k, for example, if you contribute to a pre-tax 401k plan, it's going to be tax exempt. And what that means, it's going to be tax exempt for your federal income tax. So if you, if you contribute $10,000 to your 401k, you're not going to pay federal withholding taxes on that $10,000. So if you're in a 25% tax bracket, you know, that could save you $2,500 in pre-tax savings. Um, but you're still going to pay your FICA taxes. So you're still going to pay your 6.2% Medicare or 6.2% uh, 6 6 Social Security and your 1.45% Med, uh, Medicare. Um, now, if you want to talk about cafeteria plans, if you want to talk about pre-tax medical, pre-tax dental, pre-tax vision, um, those are completely tax-free. So if, you can if you're paying $10,000 in a cafeteria plan, you're not going to pay your federal withholding tax and you're not going to pay your FICA taxes. So just for example, if you were in the 25% tax bracket, you're not going to pay 32.65% in taxes, which is you know, why it's a great, you know, great thing to have a pre-tax um, plan. Um, in addition to those, you have the FSA, Federal uh, Flex Spend Account, HSA, Health Spend Account, and your DSA, which is your Dependent Spend Account. Same thing as cafeteria plans, um, completely tax-free. No federal withholding, um, no FICA taxes. So um, just for example, you can do a $5,000 into a DSA. So if I take $5,000, I put it in a DSA, I'm going to save 32.65% if I'm in the 25% tax bracket. Whereas if I just pay for my daycare outside of payroll, I'm going to pay an additional $1,500 a year because I didn't tax shelter it. So those are the, some of the things you can do to actually save some money through your paycheck um, before you actually get to the bottom line. So now that we've kind of talked about the taxes that you pay um, and the taxes that your employer pays, we're also going to talk a little bit about what do those mean when it comes to your W-2. So what I have here is just a sample W-2 form. Um, and the key things for most people what you're going to be looking at is you're going to be looking at these boxes right up here, 1 through 6. Um, and uh, what you have here is your total wages, total taxable wages for the year, total taxable Social Security wages for the year, total taxable Medicaid wages for the year, and then how much you actually pay in each category. And a lot of times, if you don't have any deductions and um, you don't contribute to a 401k or, um, you know, if it's basically you're just making money and you have no deductions, these numbers are going to be all be the same. You know, the wage bases are all going to be the same, and then obviously these numbers are going to be different. But when you start contributing to 401k, that's going to lower these three numbers. If you start um, contributing to a cafeteria plan, it's going to lower your three and your five. Um, so there are ways to minimize um, the wage base that you're actually being taxed on. Um, and then this is just a, uh, some of the uh, long form um, of the uh, box one, th uh, one, through, one through six, which is on uh, about.com, just kind of going through each of the boxes, um, talking about, you know, in general, you know, what's involved, 1.45%. And then also um, another box, another box is box 12. That'd be the other box a lot of people have um, questions about. But that, what that does is that documents any money you contribute to a 401k, Roth 401k, cafeteria plan, things like that. For example, like if you contribute to a 401k, it's going to be 12 box D. And people are like, what's 12 box D? Um, so that's another thing on a W-2. Uh, box, uh, box 12 is used for all of your uh, recording of uh, your 403B plans, your 401K plans, um, your cafeteria plans, and so on. Um, so, so that's it. So basically, um, hopefully that helps with a little bit more understanding as far as you know what goes into your paycheck, and it's not just you know a bunch of numbers that don't mean anything. You know, and what happens is a lot of people talk about taxes. They're like, oh, we're being taxed too much. I'm being taxed too much, and they don't really know what that means. You know, which usually we're just talking about the federal income tax. But at least now you can maybe understand that it's just not federal income tax. Um, you know, for every paycheck, you're paying an additional 7.65% that maybe people don't realize they're paying. Um, so hopefully keep that in mind. But if you use um, things like the 401k pre-tax, HSA, and DSA, hopefully you can save a little bit of money along the way.